Hey everyone, as they did about two years ago, the Walkman blog have once again leaked Sony's new true wireless earbuds, the rightfully named Sony WF-1000XM5s. And they should be officially announced very soon. The link to the original blog post is also down in the description. But now let's talk about the leaks and the five big improvements that I want to see with these new earbuds. Because some of the leaks look promising, some of it not so good. Now improvement number one is gonna be with how the buds fit. This is what we can actually see best with a leak. Going off the images we have, it looks like Sony have stuck to the original design of the XM4s, but slightly tweaked it to look more like their new buds, the Link Buds S. And they've added some gloss to it, which looks a little bit rough in the leaks here on the images, but I'm sure when we see it in person, it's gonna look a lot better. It has been shrunk down a lot though, which hopefully will help with the comfort. The XM4 for me were pretty uncomfortable after about 30 minutes. I got a lot of discomfort due to the size of the earbuds, but mainly due to the hybrid silicon and foam ear tips that were included with them. And going off the images here, it looks like those ear tips will be staying, but I hope they also include just some regular silicon ear tips because throwing it back to the WF XM3s, they just had regular foam ear tips and silicon ear tips included in the box. So I'm sure Sony can do it. Now improvement number two is gonna be with the case, mainly with the size of the case. The XM4 case, it's pretty compact, but compared to cases like the AirPods Pro 2, OnePlus Buds Pro 2, they're a lot thinner, where you can see the XM4 case, it's still a little bit chunky. And it does look like they're gonna retain 24 hours of total battery life, but a pretty big upgrade here is gonna be with the fast charge, because with three minutes of the buds in the case, you get one hour's playback, compared to the most earbuds that require five minutes in the case, to give you an hour's playback. It doesn't seem like much, but it's almost twice as good. So you can have the buds in the case for nine minutes and you get three hours of playback on the earbuds, which will be industry leading. Now, improvement number three is gonna be with the core quality. The XM4s have been updated a lot since their release, but still the microphones just aren't up to scratch with today's standards. Even the Link Buds S have better core quality than the XM4s. I mean, they've been out for two years, so this is kind of expected. So this will be an easy upgrade. You can definitely expect some good core quality. And going off how well the WH XM5 headphones core quality is, I think we may be getting some of the best core quality in the whole true wireless market from Sony. Now, improvement number four, this is gonna be my biggest improvement that I really wanna see, and that's with sound quality. Because the XM4s, they sound great, but they don't really have a standout kind of tuning. I find buds like the AirPods Pro 2 and the Nothing Ear 2 are the best when it comes to a balanced tuning. And pairs like the Sennheiser Momentum 3 and OnePlus Buds Pro 2, they're both the best when it comes to a dynamic, slightly bass boosted tuning. So the XM4s, they're kind of between being balanced and bass boosted. So I'm predicting they're gonna go down more of the route of a slightly more bass boosted V-shaped tuning, which I think they will do really well at. Because the EQ that they have already allows for great customization, one of the best EQs out there, but their biggest downfall when it comes to sound quality is the EQ shift you get when you start venturing above 60% volume. So this is how your sound quality changes when you're on those last four to five clicks of volume. What really happens is it's just like mids and mid bass increasing while the treble and sub bass doesn't really increase. So at the higher volumes, it's kind of just mids and mid bass. Now this was an issue when the XM4s were first released, but it doesn't seem like Sony fixed it. I don't think they actually can. So I'm really hoping the XM5s don't have this issue. I'm honestly not too sure they'll fix it because the Link Buds S have the same issue. So once again, we shall see. Now improvement number five is with touch controls, mainly the freedom you get with the customization. Now, to be honest, I don't think Sony's gonna do this. They would have done it by now. I've talked about this since the XM3s and I know a lot of other reviewers have said the same thing, but it will be great to finally be able to control everything, play pause, skipping tracks, noise canceling, volume up and down, on both earbuds because as of right now on all of Sony's earbuds if you want to add volume control you can only do it on the right earbud or the left earbud so this means you have to sacrifice either your playback controls or your noise cancelling controls and this really shouldn't be an issue today pretty much every brand premium brands and budget brands allow you to control everything including volume then you have Apple and Bose they take it a step further they allow you to control everything on just the one earbud itself with their swipe gestures allowing you to control volume up and down. So Sony, come on, please. A bonus prediction here is gonna be with the noise canceling strength. The WFX and 4s, they're in my number two spot in my noise canceling ranking, just behind the Bose QuietComfort Earbuds 2. So this is kind of an easy one, but I reckon they're gonna dethrone the Bose QuietComfort Earbuds 2 when it comes to noise canceling strength. Until Bose come out with a new pair, then they'll probably, it's kind of a back and forth. 
thing they got going on. But before they come out, make sure you're subscribed because I'm gonna be releasing tons of WF XM5 videos. I've got seven detailed comparison videos already planned, like mentally, I don't, I don't have the XM5s yet, but like mentally planned, you know what I mean? So make sure you're subscribed. Let me know in the comments what you wanna see improved and be sure to check out this video right here where I compared the XM4s to the best premium earbuds. You can see how they went. They didn't do very well. So check it out in the meantime, stay picky and I'll see you in the next one. Bye now.